Good evening. I've got us here for another beautiful sunset. This is chapter four, Extraordinary Feats. That is F-E-A-T-S. Page 76. One night, Bobby Orr of the Boston Bruins took a pass from goalie Cheevers and detonated a 90-foot shot that was so fast, despite its distance, that Detroit goalie Roger Crozier stood dumbfounded as it went by. Cheevers, who has never received a point in his career, was awarded an, in an assist on the play. It's easy, the goalie explained, to get an assist with Orr. The literature of sport is filled with examples like this of outstanding performances turned in by a single player. The New York Mets diminutive shortstop Bud Harrelson says his own favorite play was made in a game in St. Louis or Louis. Joe Torrey hit it. It was a high bounder hit hard to my right. I had no time to backhand the ball or anything like that. I jumped up and took the ball up high, barehanded, and while I was still going up, I threw to first. I came down and saw the ball beat Tory by a step. Joe just stopped and looked at me like he couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it myself. There are many stories of outstanding plays turned in by the legendary Julius Irving of the Philadelphia 76ers. In one game, he brought his team from a 24-point deficit at the beginning of the last quarter to a victory in the final second. It was pure magic, and Philadelphia fans went nuts. This was no longer basketball, but a kind of religious exercise with Irving as shaman. In an all-star game, Julius stole the show with a single play a play that had to be seen to be believed. It can be best described in words as a dunk that started near the foul line and somehow ended with Julius whipping the ball around his head and into the basket. The crowd came to its feet in disbelief and the stomping and cheering and sounds of sheer amazement rocked the arena. The NBA Milwaukee Bucks, Oscar Robertson, who had been guarding Julius, took some time to recover from his utter bewilderment at the play. Fans who witnessed it still talk about it. Sometimes an outstanding performance is turned in by an entire team, like the New York Giants of 1951, who came from behind in the closing weeks of the season to win the National League pennant from their arch rivals, or arch maybe, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Over that period of time, many unexpected and outstanding plays were made by the entire team, climaxed by Bobby Thompson's famous home run, the shot heard round the world. When it was over, sports writer Red Smith wrote, there is no way to tell it. The art of fiction is dead. Reality has strangled invention. Only the utterly impossible, the inexpressibly fantastic, can ever be plausible again. Thomas Kiernan wrote a book about the Giants' march to victory, The Miracle at Coogan's Bluff. At the time Red Smith was right, there was no way to tell the story of that season and its monumental climax. People were too close to it. The players, the writers, the fans, everyone. It unfolded too quickly, too abstractly for human perception. The emotions it generated were like a metaphysical siren that only higher beings, perhaps the gods, 
could here. Throughout this book, Kiernan questions the members of the Miraculous team, trying to establish the possibility of what he comes to refer to simply as the question. Namely, whether or not some kind of extraterrestrial energy sort of took over the club and made it perform feats that were beyond its ordinary human capabilities. Although he doesn't actually say he believes that was the case with the giants, the reader gets the impression that he felt it so. We propose that there are moments in sport when players tap levels of ability that go far beyond what we have come to expect as the normal range of human accomplishment. Deep in our Western tradition is the feeling that athletes can be superhuman. To the Greeks, the gods were athletic. Then athletes must try to be god-like. At its best, sports hint at its best sport hints that human capacities be limitless some extraordinary sport feats seem to break through into another order of existence <sighs> okay exceptional energy one key to understanding athletic performance is the ability to call on unusual reserves of energy. Jose Torres, in his book on Muhammad Ali, says of the turning point in the second Frazier fight, he, Ali, is using those mysterious forces. I can't explain it any other way. Having himself been a professional boxing champion, Torres would not talk about mysterious forces if other explanations were handy. This sense of exceptional energy is not confined to individuals. John Brody of the San Francisco 49ers refers in his autobiography to certain times, excuse me, to certain times when an entire team will leap up a few notches. Then you feel that tremendous rush of energy across the field. Brody does not feel there is anything unusual or mystical about this. He says, when you have 11 men who know each other very well and have every ounce of their attention and intention focused on a common goal and all their energy flowing in the same direction, this creates a very special concentration of power. Everyone feels it. The people in the stands always feel and respond to it, whether they have a name for it or not. Several researchers, including Hans Saley, have described a pleasant form of stress that seems to be invigorating. Some have uh, termed it, oh Lord, E-U-S-T-R-E-S-S, -S, so eustress. Researcher Dorothy Harris notes that eustress is associated with excitement, adventure, and thrilling experiences. This stress is fun. It enhances vital sensations. It turns on individuals, and in the process of turning on, it releases energy. She also suggests that eustress may be more than energy consuming. It may be energy mobilizing as well. Most people have far more energy resources than they are aware of and do not realize they have the capacity to generate energy for other activities. Our italics. I don't know what that means. It's italic somewhere. Okay. Western athletes frequently experience these energy bursts and are familiar with the fact that expending energy can generate higher levels of force. In the main, however, these surges of new energy seem 
to occur spontaneously. Athletes in the West are hampered by the fact that their training programs are not grounded in an underlying philosophy that would meaningfully account for and encourage the systematic development of these unusual forces. Instead, they have to trust blindly that by steadfast practice and perseverance, their hidden reserves will eventually be mobilized. The Eastern martial arts, however, include specific methods for mobilizing energy and uniting body and mind. Their methods are embedded in a conception of human nature that sees the development of unusual capacities as accessible to everyone. The concept of unusual energy is basic to them. In Japan, it is called Kai. In China, Chi. In India, Prana. Like yoga, the martial arts teach methods for deliberately tapping exceptional energy. Some writers use the word intrinsic to differentiate this inner resource from energy that is produced by muscles. Rati and Westbrook, a husband and wife team, both black belts who are undertaking intensive studies of various martial arts, point out that by practicing Eastern methods of concentration and mind-body unification, a type of energy is produced which, if not different from, is at least far more encompassing and comprehensive in both substance and intensity than the common type of energy usually associated with the output of man's muscular system alone. According to some teachings, the range of this unusual energy is infinite, and its development takes place in three stages each encompassing more of the universe than the preceding level. The first stage, which is the one most relevant to current athletes, involves individual coordination and centralization of ki or kai, ki. In the second stage, the influence of kai extends beyond the individual and touches others. The final stage, which is rarely tapped, puts the athlete in touch with the center of life itself, with a resonance that knows no bounds. All techniques for developing 